visuals. Welcome back uh, today's Superhero Wednesday with a little bit of extra anime, just a little bit of anime, um, a couple of other little things. <laughs> superhero Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Basically, we take any superhero topic and chuck it out there. Today is rivalries. Um, best thing about comic books and anime and movies and all that kind of stuff, the rivalries. Some beautiful, beautiful rivalries over there. Um, it's been a couple of days, um, I've tried to, I mean I made a list of about 20 good rivalries and I was like, right, pick five, I think five's long enough, and it, I just can't cope, it's just too many, and, so I thought, right, I'm just going to have to do the five that impacted me the most, or the ones that I enjoy the most, so, <laughs> when you see one come up and you think, wait, hang on a second, it's just because it's my favourite, um, but again, this could change, this video could go up and I could maybe change, um, so I got my five, but here's a couple of a couple of mentions. Like I was gonna put maybe Batman, Superman in there, <coughs> Batman and any of his villains in there. Riddler, Penguin, Iron Man, Captain America, Captain America, Red Skull, Iron Man, Whiplash, Iron Man, Ultron, um, Ash and Gary from Pokemon. Pff, brilliant rivalry. Then I could have done the team rivalries. You know, um, Justice League, Legion of Doom, uh, Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom. Uh, see, the, the list is just is ridiculous. But yeah, here's my top. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Shredder. I mean, they can do Pokemon like Grounded and Kyogre. But, uh, Rick Grimes in The Governor. Rick Grimes in bloody... Any Walker. <laughs> well, maybe not. Uh, maybe Rick Grimes and Lucille. But yeah, this is just my five. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy anyway. I'll stop rambling now. Let's go on with my first... Well, my fifth favourite rivalry. Yeah, these two little... Vicious... Behinds, um, stuck their way in at number five. Wolverine and Sabretooth. What can you say about them? Um, okay, I'm assuming the majority of people watch my videos. Just watch, watch the, uh, watch the films. I don't really read comic books, but so we'll go off that. You guys have seen the the live action Wolverine vs Sabretooth. Gory, bloody, violent, slashing each other. Plus, it goes on for such a, a long, long period of time that they've been rival, rivals for absolutely ages. Um, obviously, Sabretooth, slightly jealous, you know, with Wolverine getting the adamant and put him into him. Oh, and it's just beautiful. It's beautiful to watch these two, you know, to their core, they're animals, go at it in a human form, oh, slicing each other up. Yes, um, I think overall, would that Wolverine without adamant, it's fair to say, Sabretooth probably would win. But Wolverine has got adamantium, so fuck you. Well, unless you've seen Logan, come on. I won't go into much detail. But that was number five. Here's my fourth favourite rivalry. I had to include this one. Um, two giant, colossal machines. Optimus Prime, Megatron, Decepticons, Autobots. Megatron, he just wants to bring Cybertron back. Um... Obviously, rule it and stuff, but he wants to wipe out the human race and everything, get it all done. Optimus Prime, you know, he probably does want Cybertron back, but he doesn't think we should, you know, he should harm other people and stuff. Probably we don't know what's going on with the new film, which is kind of crazy. But uh, again, I love it when these two come face to face, they're just punching chunks of metal out of each other. First few films, Megatron always did a lot better, and Optimus Prime sort of got lucky, which I didn't like because Optimus Prime's really strong, it made him look a little bit weak. Um, but regardless, Optimus Prime comes out on top. I think overall winner, it has to be Prime. He's just got it in his heart. He just, let's do this. Um, the whole team though as well, like I said, because they've got, they've got their team associations, Autobots, Decepticons. Even when it's just a, a, a mashup between them, it's, it's amazing to see, you know, metals, uh, machines punching metal out of each other. And then I just love watching the Optimus Prime battles for somebody to shout, Optimus! And then he... Oh, Beautiful. And Megatron's a slimy worm. I don't like him. <laughs> Here's number three. Ooh. Did my hair go gold? <laughs> no. Goku and Vegeta. Um, I know they're on slightly more civil terms of late and stuff. But the fact that they still call themselves rivals and they, Vegeta's still always wanted to try and get one over on. Kakarot! What do you mean, Kakarot? Oh, it's fucking amazing. Um... When these two were fighting and stuff, it was absolutely amazing to watch. Any Dragon Ball Z fight, any Dragon Ball Z fans watching, you know, it's freaking beautiful the way they go up. And it's, and it's just, can't, you can't keep up with it sometimes. Um, especially now with the more, um, with how anime looks, it's all brighter and bigger and beautiful. And when they go Super Saiyan, oh, it's amazing. But it, I, I like this rivalry as well because 
they like train together and stuff and Vegeta knows that Goku's one step ahead of him and Goku knows that Vegeta could catch up at any point so they keep it's just amazing and and the way you know their personality is completely different you got the Vegeta the grumpy uh, moody bastard and Goku the happy smiley just wants to get better attitude it's ah, it's, it's beautiful it warms my heart but um I'd love a huge major big showdown again be awesome to see uh, let's go on with number two Batman versus the Joker. There's there's probably no other rivalry like it. Um, right, Batman. He's big, strong. He's trained. I, when I say strong, tits up. <laughs> we know that he can kick ass. We know that he's a badass. But it's one thing going out and fighting somebody and getting physically beat up and stuff like that. But imagine going out on the streets of Gotham, wherever it is you go in, and you're just gonna have the most mental mind fuck of your life. Just picture it now, though. Like, it's, yeah, I'd love to be Batman. I'd love to be Batman. Right, you're Batman now. You've gone outside, and then you've got you've got clowns running around. You've got the Joker um, laugh, uh, uh, laughing gas going around. You've got absolute carnage. Your mind's starting to go. You, you, you're questioning your sanity. You don't know what's what. Oh. Batman's got a lot of physical scars, but his mental scars are going to be a lot deeper and a lot bigger and a lot more brutal than these physical ones. The Joker's just such a... An odd villain because yeah he's okay at combat you know he's he's got a few little gimmicks and gadgetries and stuff but his willingness to go as far as his mind will go into whatever reaches is what makes him so deadly and threatening and the fact that Batman kind of goes there while while still separating the divide between Bruce and Batman it's a lot to take on like it's, I'm glad he's the one defending Gotham and keeping the Joker at bay not me. But yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful rivalry. Again, the big physical power against the, the mental madness of that. It just says it on its own. I don't need to sell it too much to you guys. You know Batman Joker, what it's like. Let's go take a look at my favourite rivalry of all time. You probably already guessed, but let's go take a look. Right. <laughs> the key word is my favourite rivalry. Bring Spider-Man up. Now, I know his ultimate rival, his main rival thingy, is the Green Goblin, right? I will not argue that. I will... Green Goblin Spider-Man is the rivalry in the Spider-Man world. But my favourite is Spider-Man Venom. Oh. Basically, um, you all know the backstory of Venom. If you don't, Symbiote come from space, attached himself to the suit of Spider-Man, then separated himself along the way, attached to Eddie Brock and various other characters. Eddie Brock... Um, he still do the webs, but it's like venomy webs. He's you know crawls at the walls. He has like the the white spider symbol and stuff, and he's a lot bigger and stronger, and he's got his long tongue slaver. Oh, I love I love the idea of these two swinging around, um, Spider Man chucking out his webs, smaller, and then Venom you know just right behind him coming chucking in his webs, slavering on him. And it's obviously with Peter Parker knowing Eddie Brock. Um, there's obviously a little bit personal issues in there. <laughs> the the the, mod, the more modern take on um, Venom is really cool because he's a good guy, he's sort of in harmony with with uh, the the symbiote, and he uses it, gives him like a suit, and he carries guns, and that he's he's actually out with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, really cool, but yeah, th this rivalry just beats the Green Goblin because Green Goblin and Spider Man is kind of similar to Batman, just not as crazy because the the Goblin's obviously a bit. Uh, the Goblin's done a lot worse to uh, to Spidey, obviously killing Gwen and stuff. But there's just something about swinging around, you know, you're doing your neighbourhood Spider-Man thing, and all of a sudden this huge monster just comes swinging back at you. It's actually quite terrifying. Like when when kids watch uh, Spider-Man Free the film, I know my nephew when he first watched it, he was like, "Oh, what is that?" And he was he was terrified. I just think it's such an awesome rivalry. <sighs> but that was my little list. Right. Um. I hope to God you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, it's still going to be a couple of days to think of. Um, and then the more I was writing people down, the more I was like, oh, should I have you on? And should you? Ah, there's just too many. It's amazing. But what did you guys think? Did you like my little list? Did you think any of them deserve to be in a top five? Did you think somebody else deserves to take the spot? Please let me know down below. Um, also, separate note from comic books. I think uh, the Jeff video went up yesterday, and I think there's been some sort of technical issues with it. So I apologise for that, I, I, I'm not really what to do. I do actually have a new phone and I'm getting help. A very good pal of mine is sorting me out with a new computer and a brand new camera and stuff. So hopefully these videos are going to be a lot better very soon. 
Um, but yeah, I think the Jeff will mess up yesterday. And tomorrow we have the very last episode of my Pokemon teams. We're doing Pokemon Sun and Moon. And we're starting to lose the sun, so maybe it's good that the, the video's wrapping up now. We're doing Sun and Moon tomorrow, my Pokemon teams. They've been doing okay. I'm, I'm happy with what they've been getting. It's been fun to make. Just like this list, I think next next comic book Wednesday, well, Superhero Wednesday, like Superhero Team-Ups maybe, or maybe do a part two to Rivalries. I think Superhero Team-Ups, the best Superhero Team-Ups, that's quite a good I'll see, because I always jot notes throughout the week, you know, different different days of the week, I'll jot certain stuff down and see what, see what I like the best. But that was it, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you could, please, if you could. If you could, please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, and again, just get involved, let us know down below anything you want us to let us know. I'm going to sit, put this together, hopefully there's, because um, I'm going to put little GIF things up, you know, little animations, hopefully they're not, again, too much like the Pokemon ones. But yeah, I'm starting to ramble again like I always do. <sighs> I'm going to go find, dress up as Spider-Man and go find Venom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, peace out, visuals. It's even like a V. Visuals.